Today I'd like to do a product review on the security umbrella, also known as the City Safe, with the knob handle. This not only works as a normal, everyday umbrella, but also as a self-defense item in case of an emergency. So the manufacturer of this umbrella states that the umbrella is an ordinary, everyday item that is not legally regulated anywhere in the world. It is inconspicuous, does not provoke, and in case of emergency, the element of surprise will be to your advantage. It also states that it is for this reason that countless security personnel, public officials, bodyguards, security instructors, etc. around the world use our umbrella. This umbrella would surely belong in the arsenal of Oswald Cobblepot, also known as the Penguin, due to its tactical design, which we'll go into detail in this video. I first learned about it through Canadian Prepper's channel, who did an awesome review of it, and most recently I saw that Living Survival also did a review of it. So all the cool kids are getting one of these umbrellas. You could get it online for around 79 US dollars. They most recently updated their website. It used to be mainly in German. You had to translate it. Now they have the English website as well. Canadian Prepper's video covered a lot of hardcore tactical scenarios and stress tests that were most likely supervised by the legendary All-American Prepper. Living Survival also conducted some cool hardcore beat tests in his recent video. My video will be slightly different and will cover some of the areas of product testing that I'm known for, mainly destroying fruit, freaking out my neighbors as they watch me during the filming process, and include some fun, family-friendly footage with special guest appearances from Tactical Temptress, Kid Prepper, and some other family members. I've been using this umbrella for the past month and a half now during my work commute here in rainy Seattle. In this product review video, we'll do an overview of the feature functionality with some close-up footage of the construction, which is really nice. I'm gonna be doing multiple test scenarios. The first test scenario is to test the umbrella just as any normal umbrella without some of the tactical indestructible features to it. So mainly it's gonna be testing for rain and for wind. After the, conducting those tests, I'm going to go through some of the more hardcore tests, basically testing the tactical features such as the blunt tip and the knob handle billy club. Then we'll be going through some pros and cons. So let's get started now with this product review of the security umbrella. The security umbrella has an overall length of 35.5 inches, slightly less than 3 feet in metric, that's 0.9 meters. It weighs in around 1 pound 8 ounces, which is 700 grams. It has a push button for opening. I'm really impressed with the speed of the opening. It has a round knob handle, which is the primary beatdown item for self-defense purposes. It's very sophisticated looking. I believe the handle is made of walnut. The shaft is very, very sturdy. You could stand on it without breaking, which we'll show in a little bit more detail later. The ribs are of a very high quality. They're far better than any other umbrella that I've owned. The umbrella fabric is of a higher quality than your standard $15 umbrella. It has a wide area. I love the size of the expanded umbrella. It's great for one person, but could also work for two people. For example, if you're on a date with your significant other. The blunt tip could be used for self-defense purposes. It's not sharp, but believe me, it definitely hurts as we'll see later in this video. As I mentioned, I've been testing this umbrella for the past month and a half now here in rainy Seattle. It's been raining quite often, so I've had a lot of use with this umbrella out and about in downtown Seattle. It does a great job protecting from normal everyday rain, but let's elevate that rain test a little bit. We've seen how the umbrella handles normal rain conditions. Now let's use this high pressure water hose at the car wash on the umbrella. Pull the trigger right in the center of it. Two, go. Pull the trigger. Now let's see how the umbrella holds up when a strong gust of wind is blown directly at it. Kid Prepper is gonna be using the Ego electric, <laughs> electric blower and we're gonna test it both from the front and to see if we can invert it like that. So let's get started. Go! That's good. <laughs> I got you in the face. Now we're going to try it inverted. Go. Nice. As you saw, that worked out pretty well. <laughs> 
So again, Kid Prepper and I had a blast doing the wind testing of the security umbrella both on and off the camera. During my testing of it as a normal everyday umbrella as well, I find that it's gonna be very sturdy against any kind of wind conditions other than maybe a hurricane, for example. For normal to heavy gusts of wind, you're not gonna have a problem with this thing inverting like you may have with some cheaper umbrellas. Now, if you're standing in the middle of a hurricane, uh, best of luck with you. But uh, I think for most scenarios, it's gonna hold up just fine. As you'll probably see with all product review videos of the security umbrella, this thing is basically indestructible. The shaft, can't really be bent under normal conditions. You could even stand on it. So I've been having a great time having all my family members stand on the umbrella to see if it'll bend. What if you jump on it, would it work? Oh. <laughs> Look at one spot in the wall. Look at his camera lens right in the circle and concentrate on that circle. If he stops moving. <laughs> we got a nice butt shot. <laughs> Now let's go through some of the self-defense features of the security umbrella. Probably the most common one, if it's actually raining and you're using this umbrella, will be using the blunt tip of it because you won't be able to go to a closed position to get that billy club of it, which we'll show in a little bit more detail later. So let's do some testing now of the blunt tip as a self-defense method. First, we're going to have Tactical Tetris stab me with the pointy end of the umbrella. Safety first. <laughs> All right. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> One more time. <laughs> Let me just, here, just hit. Am I not hitting that? No, you're doing good. <laughs> I told you I can't see. It's okay. One more time. Oh, shit. Oh, lower. <laughs> <laughs> In the promo, there's a photo of a bad guy with a bat and he's swinging it at a good guy that has the umbrella and the person with the umbrella is able to block it. So right now, Tactical Temptress is gonna swing a baseball bat at me. <laughs> like, let's do it over. As hard as you can. Uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my God, okay. That's impressive. <laughs> kind of... that's, man, that's pretty good. Now we're gonna have Tactical Temptress smash some fruit using the handle of the umbrella, and we've all seen how well she smashes fruit before, right? It's really embarrassing. Hard as you can. Oh! <laughs> I can't believe that worked. That's awesome. <laughs> That worked. And finally, the coconut. Oh no. Got it. Oh! oh! <laughs> that was awesome. I can't believe that worked. <laughs> Fruit cocktail. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. All right, that's kind of impressive. As you saw, the knob handle of the security or umbrella would really ruin a bad guy's day. This thing packs quite the punch. And don't worry, we did eat the leftover fruit that was used during the testing of this video. So let's start going through the pros and cons now of the security umbrella, starting off first with the pros. So the first pro that I have listed, which you probably guessed, is the overall durability of this umbrella. This thing is built like a tank. I do not believe that it's gonna break under normal conditions. The next pro that I have listed is the classy look and feel. I think it works great for business settings. I like this umbrella just as a normal umbrella for the practicality of it. It's a great umbrella for just normal rain and wind without any of the tactical features. And it's nice knowing that you have an umbrella that will survive the test of time. So the next pro that I have listed is the ribs of the umbrella. So I think they're the best ones that I've seen in any kind of umbrella. I think it's probably a similar design to what the shaft is of this umbrella. I don't think they're gonna break like normal ribs of umbrellas do. Like for almost all the umbrellas that I have, the ribs eventually wear down over time. I really like that it has a nice wide surface area. I could feel that it could be an umbrella for two. It has a very fast activation from the push button, which is very smooth. It's very impressive in my opinion. I find that this umbrella is very discreet. Most likely an attacker would not know that you had such a powerful self-defense item on you until it was too late. And the last pro that I have listed is that it's a 
that officials sit, carry out for people who live in cities or countries that don't allow for a firearm or other self-defense weapons, also for certain employer rules or if you have to go through metal detectors or anything like that. This is just a normal umbrella and you could use it as that without any of the tactile features. And that's all I have listed for the pros. Now let's start going through the cons. So the first con that I have listed, it's not that bad of a con, is the price at $79. It's going to be much more than your typical $15 to $20 umbrella that you could get on Amazon. If you're looking for a $20 umbrella, this one probably isn't the one for you. If you're looking for an umbrella that's going to last for a decade, this one might be more your style. Uh, the next con that I have listed is that I'd like it to have more texture on the push button to make it easier to find for activating without looking. For example, if it's wet or dark and you don't want to search around for that push button, it'd be nice if it had a little texture on it, in my opinion. The next con that I have listed is that this particular model isn't exactly an EDC item that could easily fit in your backpack or messenger bag and you kind of forget about it. You kind of have to be very deliberate on carrying this particular umbrella for EDC purposes. The next con that I have is that I feel that the fabric could be a little bit thicker if anything were to grade on this particular umbrella, it's probably going to be the fabric, not the shaft, not the ribs, not the handle, but the fabric. So I could actually use a little bit more thickness to it just to make it a little bit more durable. The next con, which isn't exactly a con, but since the handle doesn't have a lanyard attachment to it or isn't a curved design like Oswald Cobblepot or no real grip to it, it may be easy for a bad guy to actually take this tactical umbrella uh, from you and use it against you, which we'll talk a little bit more detail next. And then the last con that I have listed is that the, I feel that the manufacturer website could have some improvements with listing the specs of this umbrella with the length, the weight, the materials that are used throughout just to help the customer make a more educated purchase decision. So adding some of those to the website over time would I think be a good thing. Also be nice if they had an Amazon listing so more people could uh, purchase it than maybe just going from the direct website. And it also help with being able to read customer reviews, for example, of this website, which I think the reviews would be really good. So it'd be cool if it was actually listed on Amazon and some other popular shopping websites. And that's all I have listed for the cons. So we've gone through the pros and the cons of the security umbrella. I'd like to do one additional category for this particular section of the review, and that's potential concerns that I have with it. And it mainly revolves around someone getting this umbrella with the wrong intended use. So this umbrella is designed for good guys to use, not only as an umbrella, but as a potential self-defense item. I'd be worried about bad guys getting this umbrella as a discreet tactical weapon. For example, I would hate this to be used as some kind of Antifa EDC item during a protest or something like that. The manufacturer website says, training recommended. Quote, effectively protect yourself with the umbrella and the correct technique, which is by Michael Kerr, who is a well-known bodyguard from Berlin who uses the umbrella and has equipped his entire team with it. But I'm worried for the non-Michael Kerrs, just anyone buying this umbrella and trying to be a hero, for example. I would worry about someone trying to use this umbrella without training and then having it used against them. In my opinion, the knob handle is the preferred self-defense part of this particular umbrella, but how many people walk around with a non-telescoping umbrella closed while it's not raining? So I would worry about them trying to convert it to the closed position to use that knob handle and then have it take it away from them. So in this particular segment, let's show how that might work with Tactical Tempest. So that if I was a bad guy, and I, so if you, like that, it'd be cool. But, I'm out. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> yeah. In summary, I highly recommend the security umbrella just to be used as a normal high-end umbrella. This thing is definitely built to last. It's not going to break down on you like your average $15 to $20 umbrella that you've probably already purchased and it's probably already broken on you and you've probably bought it a few times. You could buy this one and feel very confident that it's going to last you many, many years. So as we saw in this video, the shaft is nearly indestructible, the knob handle is nearly indestructible, the ribs are nearly indestructible. Maybe over time the fabric might wear down, but from what I've seen, it's, it's very strong fabric as well. The self-defense options of the security umbrella are a comforting perk and also quite effective. I don't think it's a replacement for other self-defense options. For example, they say never go to a gun battle with a knife, never go to a gun battle with an umbrella either. But they're certainly complementary to other self-defense options as well. I feel that the best use cases for the security umbrella are to have this thing stored at your home, possibly by your front door, also in the back of your vehicle to have during rainy times, and then maybe at your desk at work or if you have an office, you could store it there, mainly to use for rainy times, but it could also be used for self-defense purposes. I think this is mainly designed to be used for urban commuters, so for those that are 
commuting by train or commuting by bus or walking in downtown, you might want to have this umbrella with you, not only for rain, but also for self-defense purposes. I also feel that this umbrella would make a great gift for gear junkies just because it's tactical and basically indestructible. So I provided all the information regarding the security umbrella in the description box below. Make sure you check it out and please leave your comments below in the comment section regarding this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching it. I had a lot of fun making it. So leave your comments below and hope you guys enjoyed watching this video featuring the security umbrella. See you guys next time.